Hi, we're the Todd family. And we're from the Cora, Iowa. Look how we made it this far. Hasn't the pace been a long bit? Honey, take a look at We met at Loser College. Nathan was playing baseball there and I was doing photography. We absolutely loved our experience at Luther College. We decided to stay in Decorah because it was between both of our families. And so it was a little as central as we were ever gonna get mm -hmm. without completely starting over. We knew after graduating that we wanted to do more in this community. And through that, uh, building the photography business later led to buying Sugar Bowl later led to working with other business owners to help collaborate and build this community in this whole corner of Northeast Iowa. And then finally the last piece of the chapter we think uh, is adding Mill Street Mocha to the mix. If you know me, you know I love coffee and it's a big part of my life. The conversation about Mill Street Mocha came into our lives. The ability to have a coffee shop was right here in front of us in full force. So not only do I get to have my love for coffee around me on a daily basis, but I'm also surrounded by a really amazing team of people from Decorah High School, from the Community College, and also from Luther where Nathan and I went to school. So it's a really amazing full circle opportunity that we can give jobs to students that we were once part of the student body with, and then see where that takes them in the rest of their career. I never envisioned owning an ice cream shop, but here we are in downtown Decorah at Sugar Bowl Ice Cream, getting ready to start our eighth season and serve some delicious ice cream to all the community. But nobody leaves Sugar Bowl here without a smile. Who doesn't love ice cream and who doesn't love ice cream on a nice hot summer day? Decora Bank has been pivotal in every decision we've made as far as being entrepreneurs. The purchase of Sugar Bowl, Mill Street Mocha, Reset, even, even some of our real estate properties wouldn't be possible without the help they've offered. They have your best interests in mind before anything else and I came to them with an idea of opening a storefront in another town about an hour and a half away. They said yes, we could loan you the money, you are eligible for this, but we believe it would put too much of a strain on your family life and your children and your marriage. And so looking back now, it was, it was probably one of the best decisions we could have made. Again, that's just where it was like, okay, we know we can trust them coming back for something else in the future. Here at Decorah Bank & Trust, they do have a really amazing app to do most of your banking online from home and we've looked into it but honestly we would really miss the people here that help us along the way and that have been part of our story. The kids love coming in here, they love coming in for their kids club birthdays, they like getting their treats when they get a deposit, there's coffee, popcorn, you name it. It's it's literally an extension of our family when we walk in the door. We love working with Nathan and Brittany. They're two motivated individuals that bring a lot of ideas to the bank and to the community itself. Helping them financially and professionally is, is a great honor for me and it's what community banking is all about. Decor is just such a welcoming community. We have our three kids here and we couldn't imagine having them anywhere else. All the opportunities we've gained through living here in Decor, just being entrepreneurs, the, the community itself is just very, very supportive. We love Decorah and being a part of this amazing community. For the opportunity to raise a family here and to own businesses, and it's all because of the amazing team and support from Decorah Bank & Trust. So to everybody at the bank, we love you guys.